How's it going, guys? What's happening? We're here. We're in the building. Just um, gonna do a random quick live, is it? See what's popping out here. Just before the fights tonight. So far, we've got um, a Mick Hennessy show um, featuring Mick Hennessy Jr., Idris Virgo, Tommy Welsh, Sam Eggington, Shaq Ann Peters, and then obviously we've got the the big one out in Las Vegas between um, Jose Ramirez and Josh Taylor for the undisputed light welterweight, AKA junior welterweight, AKA super lightweight um, title, including the ring magazine. So um, this is big business. So um, yeah, man, we're, we're gonna, um, see how we get on with this so um who's ready to come in and chop up some game you know what i mean let me know just hit up the um the thing right there and um, we'll get it cracking shout out to chris what are you saying yeah you want to come in chris big up chris man like chris is a real g yes man like chris is a real G. Let's see if we can get Chris on because he can break this down for us a little piece. Because he was not having a ball. Hold on a minute. Yes, Prince Patel, big up. How's it going, man? Shiny head, yeah, no, it's a bit shiny still, you know. What do you want? It's a bit shiny still. How's it going, Craig? What's the say? Yeah, I'm looking at like Trevor Nelson here. Yeah, you know it is Spider. I just had to do a random one because I thought, rah. Oh, Josh Taylor ain't getting no love from the media. Got to do a little. That's mad. No um, TV stations out here picking it up. It's a little bit wild. Big up N, N Brown. Big up N Brown. Yes, so Marley, how's it going? Marley Marl. Oh, hold on. There we go. Fight fan TV. Yeah, you know how it is. Come How's on. It How's it going? Going good, you know. Going good. Just out here living my best life. What are you up to? No, I'm just going to check my, my friend quick because his birthday. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just out here in the rain. What's he doing? A little barbecue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing a little barbecue, but this weather just, this weather just took a turn for the worse. Yeah, all of a sudden out of nowhere. Mm. So mm. yeah, so I'm just hoping that it's not gonna be raining like this all night. Yeah. So yeah. I... Yeah, just um just doing a little night shift at work and that, but before we before we do that, we're gonna kick into some gotta give the fans what they want, you know. They gotta talk about the big fight tonight with Josh Taylor and Jose Ramirez. So you tuning into that later on? Yeah, 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 100%, 100%. I can stay up for the late night boxing now I'm not in camp. Yeah, yeah. So right. how's, how's, how's it been going since um, since the fight? Oh, it's been boring, you know. How many times can you go shopping and eat at a restaurant is it's crazy. I'm just, I just can't wait to get back in full time of training. Uh, it's yeah. mad. I just can't wait. I see, you know, I just want to get back in training, have some big fights this year and just, you know, finish this year big. 
So we've been talking with your management and your promoter about any possible fights for summer or later in the year. Yeah, yeah, we've been going through some options, um, but we've just got to wait to see if we can finalise something and get something locked down. Um, that's what we're trying to do right now. So um, hopefully we get some good news coming in the next few weeks and have something in place so I can get back out. And, you know, I need to get that world title, especially that's my aim in boxing right now. I'm still British champion, but I've got big aspirations for this year. Yeah, so either possibly maybe Eddie Hearn's uh, Matchroom Garden or Usyk. AJ, you look by the looks of it now, the Wilder um, fiasco has gone through with the Fury scenario. I'm open for any of these shows, to be honest. I'm open for any of these shows. Um, I just want to get out now um, in a big fight. Big fights only. I want to fight with the best and, you know, um, prove myself. You know, I think I'll prove myself to I belong at that level. But it's now about dominating that level. That's what the next plan is, you know? Yeah, yeah. Shout out Dan Aziz. I see he's in it. Well done, Craig. What are you doing with this belt, brother? What, be what belt? The, what the, uh, the, probably uh, the British belt he must be asking uh, about. I don't know, you know. I, I don't know yet. We've got to sit down with the team and see what they want to do, you know. Um, yeah. yeah got but last, last I know that your name's been engraved into the title, though. Yeah, yeah. That's what I've been hearing um, is happening with the belt right now. Um, but we just got to see what the options are. We sit down and see what the options are if we're pushing on to bigger things or what we just gotta wait okay yeah yeah so um yeah dan it's as um as soon as i know dan you'll be the first to know i definitely know bro definitely yeah, yeah. Know. i know i know you probably there's a few men probably in line waiting for this this moment for the british so I yeah i see liam conroy's um got a final eliminator against somebody oh yeah yeah, 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 so... We've got a final eliminator, so... We'll see, I'll sit down with my team and see what they want to they wanna plan out. Um, yeah, so just hold tight, Dan, you know? It's all love in the area, you know? It's all love. <laughs> Come it's on. Cool. Oh, what are you saying? I'm moving mad. I'm all parked a bit on the yellow. Yeah, no, guys, stay tuned. I'm going to have to run in, though, but... What's it? Well, quick, 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 quick prediction for tonight for Josh Taylor and Jose Ramirez, though, before you go. I, I say that Josh Taylor's going to do it. I believe um, yeah. Josh Taylor's going to win. I'm not sure it would be by stoppage, not sure how tough Ramirez is, but I definitely, um, I, I won't bet against Josh Taylor. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Well, thanks for coming in. Guys, those are the supporters of Craig Spider Richards. Make sure Thank you keep you. following the journey. We're going, to, we're still going to the like. top, guys. Guaranteed. Come on. <laughs> right. Thanks for coming in, man. A blessing. A bit, bro. All right. In a bit. Base the kid. Send a request, brother. Send a request. Oh, hold on. Actually, Dan, where you gone, Dan? Dan, where you gone? Send a request in, Dan. Dan Aziz, by the way. Uh, I know you don't. You deserve a voice, you know what I mean? Pick up everyone inside. Make sure you follow the, ch the, the, the channel Fight Fan TV Live right now. Subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Hold on. I'm trying to get um, based the kid. Hold on. Let's get. Hold on. Yes, Dan. My brother, what's going on? How's it going, Dan? I'm good, man. I'm blessed yourself. Yeah, man. All good, all good. So, um, you had a great, great, tough, tough night with. Um, Ricky Summers last time out, uh, what about three weeks to a month ago, was it? Yeah, about yeah, about three, yeah, about a month ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, so that really, what was that was a defense of your English title that you defended um, a couple of times now. So you're looking to push on. So yeah. what, what's um, your management team and people saying about the British title shot? Because I see they're kind of trying to trying to shaft you a bit by sticking um, Liam Conroy's one as the final. When yours yes. wasn't a fun. Exactly, exactly. You're exactly right, trying to show off me out of my position. But it's cool, though. Um, but, yeah, the fight was a um, defence for my English, but it was also an, el an eliminator. But it weren't mm -hmm. a final eliminator, but they've made Hosea Burton versus Liam Conroy a final eliminator. So whoever wins that, they're in line straight away for the British. Yeah. That's Whereas not really... 
do you know what I mean? Where it's just a normal eliminator. You can fight a thousand eliminators, do you know what I mean? It's not concrete. So, yeah, that pissed me off a bit. And to be fair, I found out about the final eliminator like the day before my fight. So I was just pissed off as well. Like, this is bullshit. They try to say um, Ricky's not ranked high enough, but I don't understand how Ricky's not high enough when he's fought for the British himself. Um, he's fought in like two eliminators already. Do you know what I mean? He's done 12 rounds. So it's just bullshit. Like, I didn't, I didn't quite, I don't quite understand, but do you know what I mean? God's time's the best time. So I'm going to keep plugging away. I know my time's coming, so do you know what I mean? Um, and yeah, man, just trying to get get that shot, either that or the Commonwealth, one of them two, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, because well, yeah, to be fair, I don't see why Ricky wouldn't be eligible because when he did fight for the British, he lost on points. Thanks, yeah, yeah. Um, there was the two guys you're saying who uh, are going for this final eliminator. They're coming off, They well, uh, Jose Abert is a former British champion, but he got stopped yeah. by... Leone, uh, what's his name? Liam Conroy. Liam Conroy. Yeah. They both come up a loss in the um, that golden contract tournament. Yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. Yeah. So, so, yeah, it doesn't seem quite. It's, it's not me. Yeah, something's not making sense. But we'll get to the bottom of it. And obviously, the pandemic just ain't helped either. Do you know what I mean? That's just slowed things down a bit. But yeah, like I said. My time will come. I just got to keep plugging away. Hopefully, I can get out in the summer again, just to stay active. Because this once a year business is just—it's not really my kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Like mm. first two years of my pro career, I had like five, six fights. Like and now, it's just—it's slowed down. Not to anyone's fault. Obviously, the situation we're in is not the greatest. But yeah, man. Now I just need that fight. Simple as just to get my name, you know on that British title or, or come off one of the two. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because I see uh, Lyndon Arthur's, he's on the men. I see he's doing pads with both arms now. I see he had yeah. a shoulder arm surgery uh, a few months ago. So, yeah. yeah, option as well. I see Shaq Ham Pitters is out tonight on the Mick Hennessy show. Are you going to yeah. be tuning in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to watch that one still. Because I, yeah. I remember Jermaine from the amateurs um, back in the day. I remember he won the light heavies um, in Novisa. I remember him. So I'll, it'll be good to see how he gets on with um, um, Pitters and see how oh. Pitters gets 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 on after he's lost to Craig. Should be a good fight. Yeah. So uh, is your who, uh, so is your management trying to talk to the board about trying to get you elevated into a mandatory spot? Well, apparently, yeah. That's that's what's that's the that's what's going on behind the scenes. You know, they're trying to get me in line for a British title shot. Um, you know, I've just been told to just sit back <laughs> um, and stay ready, whatever that means. But yeah, no one ain't going to tell me that. Like, I'm in the gym every day. So yeah, I just need to know, like, I want to know that, yeah, I'm next in line. I've done my due, due dil diligence, man. Do you know what I mean? Got the Southern English, defended the English twice. Now, it's, it's about time I push on. You know, I ain't no baby in this game. Like, um, I ain't getting any younger, so yeah, man. Yeah, so I see you was doing a camp out in um, Dubai, was it? Or yeah, Dubai? yeah. I was training out there with um, a coach I know. His name's Chill. He used to work with all um, um, Tiafima Lopez, um, Javonte Davis and stuff. He works with, um, not Gene Pascal, what's the guy's name? Badu Jack as well. So yeah, I was just learning a few things out there with him. I would like to go out there again, but... Again, there's no dates, no nothing. So I could go out there and then just like last time, what they did where they just tried to bring me back and say, yeah, you got to fight in two, three weeks. It don't work like that. So I need to know the dates and stuff. But yeah, man, it's it's a bit hard, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because um, Badu Jackie does some promotions out in um, Dubai and stuff like yeah. that. So. I was meant yeah. to um, spar him and get him prepared for this fight like as one of his sparring partners. But again, everything's just been all over the place. So... I wasn't able to do that, but hey. Yeah. So with the big fight tonight, um, Josh Taylor versus Jose Ramirez, I know you're going to be watching that. So how do you see that one going? Hey, if I'll be very honest with you, I don't even know much about Jose Ramirez, you know. I oh, don't okay. think I've ever seen him fight. All I know, <laughs> Josh Taylor. See Josh Taylor fight. I see Josh Taylor down at the MTK Performance Center, you know, and obviously he's a he's a um a country. Country man of mine, so 
I'll just be supporting him and hopefully he does the job. He's, you know, I was looking at some stats of his, like, in his last five fights, he's, his opponent's records is 146 and one. Like, that's mad. Like, so every time he's had to step up, he seems to do the job. And I just hope, yeah, today, it'll be the same thing. But I'll definitely be tuning in, though. Yeah, this is his fifth undefeated opponent in a row. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, from, yeah. uh, Ryan Martin, 22-0. and 0. Ivan Baranchik, 19-0. and 0. Regis Progres in the yeah. final, 24-0. Uh, yeah. Apinon Kong Song, 16-0. and 0, And now um, Jose Ramirez, 26-0. and 0. So, yeah, yeah, like... The last time he fought a guy with a loss was Victor Postel, who was 29-1. and 1. Yeah, so you see what I'm saying? Like, his resume is solid, man. And that's what it's about, man. You just want to have, have a good, solid resume so no one can't chat for you, man. And you know, at the end of the day, you're one of the top guys up there. You don't need to talk. Like, you just look at his resume. Like, the talking, the, the resume does the speaking for him. So, yeah, man, I rate him highly. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a, don't you think it's a bit of a shame that no British broadcasters have um, picked it up? It's not getting really a promotion because this is for the all the belts, all four belts, plus the ring magazine. Yeah. yeah, it's not really heavily promoted. Yeah, no, it's, it is. It is quite poor. But is it? I'm sure it's being. I'm sure, is it being shown by a top rank? Yes, on ESPN Plus. Yeah, in America. but yeah, do you know what I mean? What's that to us? Uh, the the guys here, like, do you know what I mean? Like, you're right. It's like someone like Sky or bloody BT should have at least picked it up. But probably to, to do with all the whole management and all that palaver and stuff. So yeah. Yeah, it's on Fight Fight TV app. If you okay. Got that. Yeah, so, what yeah. is that free to subscribe to, or is it something you have to pay for? They pay per viewed it. Hold on, someone's got a question for you, Mister Aziz. Any more noise from Cody? What are your thoughts on him? I don't even know who that is, man. Seriously, that's 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 my views. I don't know who that is. Yeah, so, but saying about you must be talking about Cody Davis, I imagine. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Um, so, um, who else is? So, yeah. What about the fiasco? You must have been keeping your ears on the the Wilder Fury AJ fiasco. What's your thoughts on all that unraveling? Yeah, that was just making me sick after a while, man. Like just bare talk, man. It's very annoying. But it looked like AJ and his team were really actually trying to push for it. Do you know what I mean? But. Yeah, it started to become a bit of a circus. But, you know, like us boxers, we're not really interested to that. But to the layman outside of boxing, it's interesting to them, innit? But for someone like me, I'm not really interested in that. I just want to see you go in there and bump fish, you know what I'm saying? So um, I think it was a bit shit that, like, you had Fury posting up posts and stuff like that. And then after comes out with this, um, what's his name, Wilder stuff, that's just bullshit man I think they should just leave Joshua alone now man when they're ready to fight then because he doesn't seem like he doesn't doesn't want to fight so do you know what I mean when you're ready then you know shout him man they, I think they're trying to mock him a bit like they probably knew all of this stuff with Wilder was happening then yeah let's just build it up build it up and then just drop him at the last moment like it's a bit of a mm. business isn't it so do you know what yeah. I mean yeah what did you think about it what, what did you what did you think yeah, I just thought it was a bit of a, a, a Mickey tape because he would have known about all this litigation because yeah. you'd, you'd be you'd be served court papers, so he would know Wilder's filing this and trying to sue because he tried to say it was expired before. So you you would have known all this was coming. So then remember he did an announcement the other day. Oh yeah, I just spoke with the prince or king of yeah. uh, of Saudi Arabia. It's on, come on, guys! But he knew all along that he had um, other contractual issues because. Yeah. When he was, you know, on his binging, drinking and drugs and whatever, Wilder said, remember he sent him a text and said, uh, you're fat, but lose some weight and we can, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have a dance Gave over. him a chance, he, didn't he? A free fight deal to bring him back in the game. Yeah. That helped him get that, was it 80 million um, ESPN deal? Some mad amount of money. Exactly. So you got to honour the guy who brought you back in the game because he was in love with you, right? So then now he's talking about, oh, let's do Ben up or AJ. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. I weren't interested in all that. Just change shit, like, allow it, man. 
you're a boxer, yeah. you can fight in the ring, all the belts on the line, like, please. Like, I wasn't interested, to be fair. So, yeah. yeah. So, all that, that then AJ mugged him off about it. That yeah. The bounce didn't even hold you back. Yeah, you're not sure on it. Do you know what I mean? It's all, it's all talk, man. I think Fury's really got into that, you know, that entertainment lifestyle. Like, he knows how mm -hmm. to entertain and just make noise. But sometimes, bro, like, you're the heavyweight champ. Come on, like, Put your money where your mouth is, man, and fight. I'm not even saying Fury shook of Joshua at all. I don't think he is. But huh. all the semantics, like, let's just fight now, man. We, the world yeah. we want to see. It. I think, to be fair, they're just probably not even going to have their belts by the belt belts by the time they fight. They'll just have a, you know, fight probably without the belts and stuff like that. Yeah, something's going to end up happening. Yeah, Brilliant. yeah, man. Yeah. All right, but yeah, thanks for coming on, man. And no um, problem, bro. I appreciate and, it. Um, yeah, don't worry. When Craig makes his decision, you'll, <laughs> you'll be the first man to get in shot because he remember you two spoke before, so yeah, it's only yeah, right. Of course. Yeah, so I've got, yeah, I'm I've sure. got a question for you before you go, bro. What did you think of his performance, honestly? Against Bivol. Yes. Yeah, I thought he done um, done very well. Um, Could have started. Uh, applying the the what he did in the later rounds a bit earlier, but yeah. he knows himself. That's kind of the story of the fight. Even the commentator said um, he might kick himself for not stepping on the gas from earlier, yeah. maybe working the body a bit more because Bivol did get a bit tired. Yeah, um, yeah, and that's from there. Yeah, if he started a bit earlier, it could have been a different ball game. But it's definitely showed his world level because. He's done better against Bivol than um, Joe Smith Jr. did. And Joe Smith Jr. has gone on to now be the WBO world champion. Oh, he's got more knowledge. No, yeah, no. So, yeah, so if uh, Joe Smith Jr. can win a world title after this, he got yeah, beat one. Like, definitely. I hear that. I was, more, I was more on a thing like, I think um, Craig, man, like master knowledge, you know. But yeah, yeah he's there, bro. you're good, you're good. I'm, I'm blessed, coming bro. to your thing tomorrow for the Hagler thing, you know. Yeah? Yeah, I'm there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm there, oh, I'm there as well, okay, by the way. Cool, yeah. I'm coming. I'm, I'm yeah, bless, bless, bless. See? I jump I told you. Thing. I jump yeah. in, you think the numbers start go up. But yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah, no, we'll, I'll, I'll buck you um, tomorrow, Dan. No the... problem, man. Nah, nah, Dan is he's big up. Hear what I'm saying. Back to the Craig Richards thing, yeah? Because that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's why I jumped in. We've seen this before with Craig Richards. You know, um, what was it? Um, 2016 when he fights Frank Bugloni on short notice. He goes yeah. into that level, big up boxing, Barry. He goes into that level and then he properly realises, right, I'm at this level. You know what I mean? And to tell you the honest truth, I thought he, thought, I thought he performed amiably against Bivol, realising who Bivol is. Bivol is a serious contender, you know. He's not, he's not, no, he's not no joke, he's a serious world yeah. champion. He's not no joke, and he 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 handled he handled the situation. I think that if his guys gave him a if his corner said to will be a little bit more assertive, that's not me knocking the corner. I'm just saying if if them Sims man, the fish and chips man, if they if they were, you know, they're fish and chips. I'm just <laughs> why are you always. Up. Why are you always banning these Caucasian trainers? It's not even... No, that's not Why are you always doing this? That's not... You Who? can't say that. I've never heard the word Caucasian, man. <laughs> yeah, right. No, nah, it's true. Right. He's always doing this. The fish and chip, man, them. Wait, there. What, you don't do fish and chips? You don't, you don't, you don't no, I don't, bro. Right. Well, you don't think that man's fish and chips? That man yum fish and chips. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like if I was a, if I was addressing you now, I'd say this bloody little goosey boy. You say pounded jam. Pounded yeah, because you, you eat yeah, you eat pounded jam and the goosey. Don't you eat pounded jam and the goosey? You do straight. Asun moi moi. Exactly. Uh, yeah, Obelin, Obelin de suya. You eat That's that it. stuff. I am a, I am a shay. Yes, right. so, he's been you taking it down to the local Nigerian. Restaurant. No, no, no. Larry, I know it's Larry. Larry, Larry Echo has been taking No, Larry hasn't. Yeah. Listen, let me tell you this, yeah? Tell a lie. I've eaten once from Larry Echo That was when he got married. Okay. You know what I mean? And, like, at the wedding reception. That's the only time. I was managing Larry then. That is yeah. the only time that I've eaten from Larry Echo Oh, God. Right? See. Right, I'm just keeping this thing 100. Yeah. That's, that's number one. But I'm trying to say to you that I'm well-cultured and versed in 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 people of the diaspora, meaning mm. that no one's got tricking me to try and divide me up as me being 
culturally um, uh, person who is who is who is who is solar powered. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Why do you think our hair stands up? <laughs> I mean, why do you think why do you think our hair stands up? My hair don't stand up, you know. Mine is kind of like no, 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 don't, don't, don't be stupid. Your hair, your hair stands up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah, your big black coon. No, just kidding, right? <laughs> hey, talking about, <laughs> hey, talking, talking about coon, Uncle Master Knowledge. I see these man them trying to stick it on you for not for not sticking it on um, Billy Joe Saunders with the eye thing. What happened there? Because I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, Unks. I ain't gonna lie. I thought you went in on the bar proper, but I know there was stuff outside of the. Bro, bro. The no, no, no. I know. I know there was stuff outside of the... No, you know. no, no, no. And listen to me. Let me tell you this. I ain't got nothing against Daniel Dubois. Yeah. At all, right? What, what... I just got to keep this thing 100. I'll have to big up uh, Travis J's on it as well. Right, I like Travis, my guy. Right? I'm just keeping this thing 100, yeah? Yeah. I don't pander to this coonerism thing. Yeah. Right? I don't. So, and, and the next thing is this. I don't business who likes me from who dislikes me. <laughs> Right? No, I'm going to be... I don't... People think I actually care. You think, like, when these little idiots want to jump and say, oh, Spencer's racist. I'm still waiting for one racist comment that I've said. But all I know that it is, is that I know that the God in me interrupts the devil inside of them. Mm. Right? And when you're rolling with God and when you're rolling with the power, Satan knows that. So Satan's going to straight away... It's like a magnet. You know, like, when you take the opposite side of a magnet and try to put them together, the force will push them apart. Mm. So... They know that I'm the draw. I will draw who I'm meant to draw. I will draw the ones who are of consciousness. Now, your skin tone doesn't determine whether you're conscious or not. You know what I mean? Of course. Because I've got loads of white brothers who know that it's a system thing that is deliberately designed, set up to keep the rich in power and the people who haven't got shit, they'll use their skin tone to think that they're superior to other people because of their skin tone. But I've got to keep this thing 100 and say, like, imperialism right? And colonization is a serious thing. So once you know that, because let me tell you this, I'll break this one down for you, right? You go and go travel, because I travel a lot. Everyone knows mm. that. I'm a, I'm a world-traveled person, right? You go to China, and you look on Jesus Christ, right? Yeah, it's true. I should have been a politician. And you look on, <laughs> it is, and you look, Travis. <laughs> right? Pick up undefeated podcast, yeah. Travis J. Page, you them show yeah. again. Trust me. Right? Check this one out. Check this one out. If you go to Nigeria, yeah. Sorry, go to China. Look at the depiction of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ actually looks Chinese. Have you noticed that? Really? Right? Yeah. Right. Go, go, go to Spain. Jesus Christ looks Spanish. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go all around the world where you see other colors of people, but then we go to Africa or any part of Africa. Jesus Christ is as white as white can be. Yeah. Right. So, therefore, I'm sitting down saying to myself, hmm, let me check this out now. If I check historically now, Jesus Christ came from a place where the people were dark. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And let me tell you the next thing. Going to Africa, they've been so brainwashed and so colonized, yeah, on this Jesus thing, <laughs> that you go, if they painted Jesus black, they would not worship him. Yeah, of course. It's in our minds, isn't it? We've been, okay, then. We've so, been... Right. So, that's me just dealing with that part there. So, when I turn around to certain Europeans and say Jesus was black, bruv, it's, I was better talking to suck their mom. <laughs> right? This, this is what I'm saying to you. So, I, if, if people get disturbed because I am so proud of my heritage, that my heritage or my historical culture didn't start from slavery. Because I know when we were in Africa, we had royal dynasties way before anybody else, way before the Chinese who come from Africa. You don't believe me? Go read the books that are written. You know what I mean? But because you don't read, and readers are leaders, so I know that I'm a leader, and I know that I'm powerful. But when you say, because a lot of people will know this, or they know this knowledge, but they're scared to be on open platforms and speak about it. The reason why they are because they're rather coon it to coin it. <laughs> I'm not that guy. And the only time that I get upset is when anybody accuses me of coonery, especially them dumbass Americans, like they're the only ones to go through dra dramas. 
yeah, but um, they were asking why or what that, that's what like, no, how come like what's what was the difference in both that like, why why did you go in on one why did you go in on the other right, and i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you again and i'm gonna be real yeah right i'm gonna be real because i've had words with mark tips right i've had words with ben davison yeah right but i've had words with mark tips and and i was speaking to a couple renowned trainers in the game like clifton mitchell we had a good conversation today now check this one out in the British Border Control rule book, I think it's 3.76 or something. In the rule book, it says that a trainer, uh, head second, can stop a fight, or the manager. Uh, right? I'm going to say this again. The head trainer or the manager can stop a fight. Now, me having held a British Border Control trainer's license, and I currently now hold a manager's license, but I just renewed it. Right? I understand this because it's in the rule book. Mm. Now, Ben Davison overrode his position of being a second in the corner, a second. That means you're not the first. Yeah. You're the second in the corner, overrid it because he went up and whispered in Billy Joe's ear whatever he whispered to say, look, Bridget, like, it's time to, like, call it a day. Like, you, put, you put a good thing in, rare, 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 yeah. but let's just pull it out, blah, 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 and all the rest of it. Mm. Now, yeah. if I was Mark, I'm going to be real. If it was anybody else, I'd box him in the mouth. So I'm, I'm being real because it's not, it's, it wasn't Ben's, it wasn't Ben's call to, to go say what he said at the time there. No. You know what I mean? Right. Now, did Billy Joe quit? I'm saying you got thump in your eye, one minute, 25 seconds of round eight. It was a horrible shot, right? And and Canelo knew that it was a horrible shot because he felt the crack. And you yeah. had it, you know, you hit something, you felt like a little crack. Uh, I know, I popped man's rib. Then you box. I know yeah. you can't manly foot raw. I know that was a good shot, you know. Uh, you know, you feel it. Yeah, exactly. So it was a good shot. Canelo knew. Billy Joel couldn't see out that eye. Yeah. Mm. Billy Joel could have taken the option. Then, right? I can't see. Let me just take Nina. Mm. Now let me take the knee. I'm not doing it for Black Lives Matter. Let me take the knee. I'm not doing it for George Floyd. I'm gonna take the knee. He didn't take the knee, but yeah. but on the rules he did quit. I'm keeping it 100 now. Okay. After, after but maybe he took the knee for Free Palestine like Clifton Mitchell did. Us. Yeah, I see. Big up Clifton. <laughs> no, big up Clifton. Right. So I'm. So um, they're the same then, basically. What? Because I'm not. I'm not saying either of them quit. They did whatever they did, but whatever they both did, they both did the same thing. That's what you're saying, right? Essentially. No, 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 no. But there's a difference. Uh, no, no, there's uh, a difference in quitting. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, listen, there is a yeah. difference in quitting, though. There is yeah. a difference in quitting. But I didn't know the disgusting things that Billy Joel said prior about, yeah. about my mom. I didn't know that. Oh, about you, was, and that. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was the brother. Oh, about mom. Mom. Also, I'll give you another quote when he said about, um, uh, he said that, that Chris Eubank Jr. and his brothers get raped by their dad in yeah, their bum and also... Also, he said about um, them being from Brighton and Hove and that, that their football uh, team has soft seats because, you know, people from Brighton are, must be all LGBT. This is what yeah, he said also. Right. Listen, yeah. listen to what I'm saying to you, yeah? Mm. You know what I'm saying? In this in this world that we're living in right now, you have to be careful of the things that come out of your mouth. Hundred percent, because, because everybody is, is 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 uber affected by them kind of talk, right? Yeah. But I'm just keeping it one hundred. I didn't know the things that I knew, which happened in the fight until I've started to do my little thing down. I'm hearing what I'm hearing, yeah. yeah. But I'm saying I was going on hard on Daniel Dubois, and I didn't go on it as hard. Remember, I done the I done the fight just I done the interview with and that was on IX one, it got mad numbers as well. Like I done the interview and that's you asked me my first opinion. My first opinion is there. I've said, nah, pussy or you quit. <laughs> reason, reason why? Because you spoke some wicked demonic talk prior to yeah. and I'm gonna keep it one hundred as well, and I don't care who wants to get upset by it, but I am culturally proud and I'm culturally aware of my culture so much that when I see any man of position, this is what people don't have to realize, you're going to start realizing this, yeah? That when I see a man of color in position, you're not just representing yourself. Yeah. You may think you're representing yourself. You're representing yourself when you're going to the bank 
but you're not just representing yourself. You have a stature to, to be carrying because we have always been, we had to buffoon and be a buffoon and play this little idiot thing to try and get through the door. And when you do get through the door, you've got to continue to play this role as a damn idiot because you're scared of losing your position. I'm not that black man. The tap dancing, buck dancing. <laughs> Your volume, Spence. Your volume. Your volume. I can't hear you. You've gone on mute. You muted yourself. What happened there? Uh, yeah, that, that turned very interesting. I think we're going we're gonna to try to get Spence back in. But well, that was a good back, question. Back to, back to what me and you were saying before he jumps back on about... Um, we'll see if it's... Yeah, Spence just took us on some next. <laughs> but yeah, no, you, you, were, you were right about Craig. Um, yeah, he should have maybe jumped on a guy. I just, to be fair, I just thought maybe he didn't believe in himself um, as much as he should have. Who? Mm -hmm. Billy Joe? No, 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 no. I was talking back about um, Craig and Bivol. Nah, just, I'm keeping one keep it 100. I'm keeping it 100. I don't think he believed in himself. It's like you said, it's when he got there after the fight, then he thought, you Wait, know what? I Man's, up, man's here. I can fight at this level. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. mid fight, mid fight, mid where, fight. Yeah. Yeah, but where does belief? Where does belief come from? It comes from within. Thank you. Now, it comes from within, and it also comes from the people who you are surrounded by. Birds of a feather flock together. Yeah. Right. I'm keeping this thing 100. So therefore, and this is not me having a go at his corner people. Therefore. You gotta be around man that believe that you got that title already. You understand? Yeah, and I think Craig, no like and there's no fault of his own, had had he had doubt issues. He had doubt issues going into it and say, right, you know what? Am I really at this thing? Because you are. But I was pretty hell bent. I thought Craig was gonna stop him, you know. <laughs> but you yeah, know yeah. what? I'm talking about the people surrounding him in the corner though, I, I could even hear from like from the screen from my TV, I could hear his trainer, bro, believe in yourself. I could hear him shouting it. So he must have fought to a degree. But then me and I'm not even. I'm just playing devil ad advocate. Even though but why can't you play devil's advocate? Why do you have to play devil's advocate? <laughs> but anyway, listen. Don't let him fool that, you. Now. <laughs> you see that with the belt, yeah. When he when he when he wasn't relinquishing it to me, and it's not just because I want the British title and that's my focus. I thought to myself this guy don't believe that he's world level or don't believe he's going to win. That's what I was thinking. And I think I'm fair to say that. Because if yeah, you, yeah, you, are, at, you are. You are. You are fair to say that. If you're, if but, you're going to go and grab that title no matter what. Yeah, I know, but I'm what I'm saying is this. Sure, what I'm saying is this. I, I was very fortunate to work on your last fight. Yeah? Yeah. And I keep this thing 100. The win's a win and I congratulate you for getting the win. No, of course. But also, that was a bit of garbage that you performed the other yeah. day, sir. Because to what I know that you can perform, that was garbage, bro. And you know why? You this is me. why people can't take me. Because you know what? I'm not saying this behind your back, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. right, done is easy. Oh, so, I said this to my face. I'm saying, I, yeah, because I come to the yeah. change room after said, nah, bro, the wins are win, but nah, yeah. you want to do better than that, bro. No, of course. Right. And so, I appreciate that. And I know yeah, when, I'm, when I know when I, I, I'm subpar performing. I know right, I'm exactly. not deluded. <laughs> Because what's it? What I'm saying, Dan. Yeah. If you, do you feel off of that last performance that? Well, how do you do? You think that you'd be able to say beat Craig if on that last performance? Yeah, like they're definitely not off the last to put. Forget about off the last performance. I believe I can beat Craig. I believe I. I yeah. um, anyone who right now who fights for the British title, I can beat them for it. Like, yeah, that was a subpar performance, but. That's like going to say, oh, um, you know, Craig, he struggled against Chad Sugden, so he's definitely going to get banged in by Shaq and Pitters. What did he Very go true. into Shaq and Pitters? So boxing, it's not like that. Boxing don't have no formula. It's all about styles. Styles make fights. But you're only as good as your last win. Although my win might have not been as good as it's supposed to have been, I still got the win, like Unc said. And I know, we've had our conversation. He, yeah. He's not someone that will just 
chat shit behind my back and no you know, bro you know he'd say to my face oh yeah man yeah. a win's a win that's exactly what he said a win's a win listen yeah. a win's a win but come on like you know you gotta come better than that and it yeah, happens I went to check. after the, I was still on air you know I'm talking liberties I, yeah. like I switched off I switched off my mic just in case I walked <laughs> round to his change room yeah. I said because there was a fight that was going on after that I said Bridget Nah, brother. Because yeah. No, it's true. I, I'm, I'm just keeping this thing 100. I know, like, you're getting a blinding touch as well because yeah. we don't realize that those fights have been those fights have been aired on YouTube and on ESPN. So you're getting worldwide exposure. Do you feel me? Yeah. Right, because ESPN Plus is the is is the biggest sport in Africa, I believe, in America. Something like it gets 15 million, 15 million people on it. Right? Yeah. That's no joke, you know. Right? That's no joke. So when you're getting when you're getting those rub big up forever striving, yeah, 100. I'm I'm listen, I just I just keep it 100. I don't listen, I want man to realize I'm gonna keep on saying this because people man don't like get Dan, it. you know. Yeah. I'm right. I don't I don't I don't business whether people people like me or hate me. But they have to respect that I must know something. I'm just keeping it 100. So when I'm seeing men who are from the ends, who are doing things, I know this game's hard as it is, right? I'm looking at it, right? We're in a country where people of our skin tone are a minority, right? And because we are a minority, people tend not to want to understand the minority only if it's in their favor. So it's okay it with your Big up right. for Breeze. Right, yeah. It's okay when you're winning. It's okay when... But let something go wrong. So when I see something, I'm saying, boy, that could have been a potential banana skin. Bruv, we got to do better than that because I'm passionate about this thing. And it's not just to the black fighters that I'm saying this to. Right? It's someone stylistically. could be a white guy, but he's got skills which I can affiliate myself to coming from the culture where I come from. Then I'm saying to you, yeah, because what I realise is a lot of these fish and chip men Go to them and say to you, what's your favourite fight? Oh, Gatty Ward. You see what I'm trying mm. to say? Because you're fish and chips, bro. There were no skill demonstrating in that. No, I'm being wrong. Yeah. Yes, it was a good fight. Yes, it was a good fight. But it's fish and chips. I can't I can't send my nine-year-old son and say, yeah, daddy, I want to watch a really good fight. Yeah, okay then. Let's go Let's go watch Gatty Ward. No, I'm sitting my son down. I said, go watch Floyd Mayweather, Gatty. That'll blow your mind. Yeah. Go watch, go watch, go watch um, Leonard Duran. First fight, that will blow your mind because you can learn from that. When you watch them two men, they tear it at each other. Yeah, that's brain cells. One of them's going to turn punchy. Yeah, but yeah. punks, you got to remember, we're fighters at the end of the day. Yeah, he's right, all doing, you know, shoulder roll, defences, you know, defence is your best offensive. But we're fighters, we're mad anyway for choosing to do boxing. Sometimes I don't give a toss, you know, I just want to go in there and have a tear up, like, F it. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um. Yeah, but why would you want to do that? that? No, but it's not about all... say that. Go ahead. What's your favorite fight of all time, Dan? Um, of all time, probably ha um Hagler Hearns. Hagler Hearns, yeah. But um, what's if Holyfield versus um oh, White Man Quarry? No, no, no. Michael Hol Dokes. No, the first the trilogy he had. Oh, read really it both. Yeah, the first one. That's that's one of my favorite fights. Um, I got a few, man. Um. November Even 1992, the, that was. Tony, James Tony versus, um, what's his name? Ira uh, Barkley. No, the, the the Southpaw that he knocked out late. Oh, Michael Nunn. Yeah, Michael Nunn. That's one of my favourites. I like that fight. Um, yeah. There's a few. Yeah, more. my one is, um, my one's Barrera Morales one. Why? Because That's it's a fight. war. Because it's a war, you know what I'm saying? What? But there was skill in that, though. There was yeah, skill, there was that, skill that, in that. But there's no. always skill in, in a boxing match, regardless of it's a war or not. Come on. You lot tell uh, me Gatty Ward, there was no... So Gatty Ward, there was no skill whatsoever. Bruv. Some of them were cash bang wallet. Bruv, there was skill. I ain't gonna lie. There was skill in it. But what I'm trying to say to you, it was still fish and chips. <laughs> What's your favourite fight, Unks? My favourite fight of all time? Yes. Hagler Mugabe. Come on. Who's that? Yeah, big fight. Alex, he knows. That's one of my favourites. Come on. Nah, Alex, you, know, you know what? You know, you know what? I haven't got a favourite fight, you know? I've got okay, fights. One, that like, one that's entertaining for you that you nah, look nah, like. Nah, nah. nah it, then, then, then I'm saying... It engages like, you. Yeah, the fight, the fight that really engages me then would be... There's there's a couple. So I'd say... Um, what was it? 91. 
James Tony versus Mike McCullough in the first fight. Yeah, yeah that's a cold fight. Cold fight. Uh, yeah, cold fight. Sugar cold. and Leonard Wolfred Benitez, November 79. Bad boy fight. Bad boy fight where you want to learn something, you go sit down, you say, go watch that fight. You want two young boys, go watch that fight. Or even McCullum versus McCullum versus Donald Curry because they both stood on top of each other and let their hands go. Or for those kind of things, yeah, big up Alex Demagani on it. He knows these things still. Hey, Uncle, Tunde, Uncle, Uncle Tunde said, you versus him, he brock you up. Yeah, but Tundi keeps on saying this. Tundi likes to forget. Like, when we sparred, yeah, I punched ah. Tundi in the belly and all fufu, jollof rice come out of his belly ever. He <laughs> got Tundi. Dream it, belly. Ah. He come out of his little black bubble belly. So I don't know why this little bubble likes to always like to talk about, oh, yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a big up man like Tundi in there. Do you know what? <laughs> all right, okay. We gotta get him on. We gotta get to him. Yeah, we can start the war, bro. <laughs> we got Tunde's got to have his say. We can't. Bro, bro, Marcus McCray, big up Marcus McCray. Marcus McCray's on there as well. Yeah, big up Marcus. <laughs> yeah, big up Marcus McCray. Big up them, man. Big up yeah, them. Man. I remember, remember, remember when Marcus was in the ABAs. Remember when Marcus McCray was in the in the ABAs? Was it ninety two? And he got to the he got to the ABA finals, but he was just. He was tearing up everybody. I remember him and Matt Brown, who was a Lynn boy, their man used to war every week. And then, but when it mattered in the ABAs, Marcus McCray beat him to go through. I remember Marcus lost to him at, I think it was a Royal Lancaster Hotel. So it was about 291. And we thought, rah. And then he just come back and he just, when they fought in the ABAs, he just brushed my, he, he brushed, he brushed my crook lodge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them you days. thought Adeline Lynn on smoke, man. I swear even... Yeah, Lynn was a dangerous cut in time. You was from Lynn as well. Yeah, I was from the Lynn, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was from Lynn, you know. Yeah, I was you know, on smoke, man. Bloody yeah, hell. Point, I was the poster boy for the Lynn. We've had loads of guys. We've had Sparks, you know, Street yeah. Lynn. We've had Tunde. We've had Spencer. We've had Wayne Alexander. We've had Daniel Henry. Williams. Henry Dan Akin Wande. Derek Henry. Angle. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Adrian Carew. who was Adrian Billy Dodson. Billy yeah. Knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Billy Knight. Oh, my word. Billy Knight. You know, he went to Commonwealth well. Games. The 1974 yeah. Commonwealth Games won the gold medal. Yeah, we started off a lot of guys as well. Uh, Lerone Richards. Uh, we had Charlie Edwards. Um, uh, come on, man. Daniel, Daniel DeBlois. Well. Danny Williams already, bruv. You're late. Yeah, yeah. Daniel yeah, DeBlois. From there as well. Yeah, Richard Riakwa. Chris Congo. Yeah, man. Yeah. Everyone, everyone, come from, everyone come from that place there. It was a powerful place. Yeah, you know I mean, oh. but then it started to lose its power when John Sims, when John Sims left and opened up the Miguel gym, it kind of lost a little bit of its power. Like it weren't turning over the champions. John Sims, I think he trained something like eight ABA champions or something. It's crazy. Oh. You know what I mean, so when you look on that, and it's mad how man don't go around John to go get to go get a piece of knowledge from him, and we're just getting these little Connor's train Connor Connor his trainers that's coming to yeah boxing. trust. Um, so what do you think about that? Like, why is the amateur so shit now? Because, like I said, back in your days, even no, you, that, you, the boxers were serious. Like, Bruv, you see, let me tell you this. You see? A, no, wait, Uggs, um, wait, give me a sec. You see, when I was in the amateurs, yeah, you see the London, yeah, like it was a mad thing. Basically, like, when if you're from any other county, you know, if you're fighting a London fighter, you're thinking, yeah, like. This is gonna be peak, but it's not the same anymore. Like, what, what, what's up with that, man? Like, even when I've gone to watch national finals, I say they're not the same. They're not all that, it's, man. I'll be you honest. You know what it is now? I'm next to the Arthur first, and then I'll go after the yeah, third uh, Because yeah. kids, kids have got too many options now. That's why. Yeah. Right, they got too much options. Yeah, you know I mean, they got. Right, someone just said something. Who is this? Say, what's that? Base the kid said, "Why is Ben Davison got such a big platform?" Right, who is he? You can answer that. Who, me I don't, or <laughs> well, I don't know. I, you might, you might must know him because he's he trains MTK fighters. Well, he prob I think it's probably because of obviously his connection with Fury. Obviously, that's his brethren down the corner. So straight away, if you're training the heavyweight champion, what you're just gonna blow from that? It's definitely. Mm. Well, well, well. He trained. You have to think like they'd like to talk about his big stage. The real acid test for Ben Davidson's tonight. It's tonight. When when um, Taylor fights, this is the acid test. 
Mm. Yeah, but not, not really, because he didn't produce Josh Taylor. Josh no. Taylor, in, in like eight fights or whatever, was fighting a Hara Davis. So Josh Taylor's I already... I, I want to see... I agree, Davis. but this right. is... Listen to me. This is the acid test. Reason why? Because all eyes are on him. When the fight goes today, all eyes are on him. You see the Tyson Fury thing when he's with Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury got up off the ground. You had Freddie Roach in your corner. Yeah. You know, a legendary trainer. Yeah. You had Ricky Hatton, a legendary fighter. That man can raise your spirits. Cool. Right? Mm -hmm. You ain't got no one legendary in your corner for this one. You know I mean? Unless, you know what I mean? Ooh, what? Is, is Gap's going to be a spit bucket, man? <laughs> you ain't got no. But, but, oh, yeah. Big up, Chris, for backing it. When it all kicked off yesterday, I see. No, I'm not picking up Chris Congo. What's Chris Congo getting an argument for? Man, should have punched. Chris Congo should have had that same kind of heart when he fought McKinson boy the other day. No, no bro. Ugs, you can't. No, I'm not. You can't nah, do that. Yeah, uh, come on. You can't. Say, you can't do that, man. What do you mean I can't do that? I just did. Nah, nah. nah. I, I, don't, I don't think that loss is attributed to anything to do with his heart, man. McKinson's Bruv. a tricky customer and someone Bruv. a lot Bruv. of people don't want to fight. Bruv. Bro. What are you saying, Dan? Are you backing me on that or what? Bro. I'm backing you on that because that was a skills thing. That wasn't a heart thing. Chris was yeah. trying to come in. That McKinson's got a style where he's able to... When he hits you, he's like he knocks you off balance a lot. It's yeah. not even like he's got power. He's able to knock people off balance. I'm not knocking Chris Congo. I'm not knocking Chris Congo. But what you're saying for backing it, what was he backing? Listen, stop for a he second. He was backing beef, which I saw a heavyweight knock back. He's Who? a next man's beef. Yeah. What heavyweight? Tyson Fury. Well, Tyson, Tyson Fury. Back when he Maybe back you're not Martin listening to Tad. me. You're not, maybe you're not listening to me. Who instigated the beef when it kicked off? Well, Josh Taylor did. Just okay, like. Uh, so wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. So what? I, I can't talk about. It. That's their man's business. I'm not interested in their man's business. You know what I mean, let Traveller Man deal with Traveller Man. That's nothing to do him, <laughs> right? I'm being 100, right? You what you're saying, like. Chris, Chris Congo was backing it. You're breading it. You're not backing it. And I told Chris to his face, you little breader man, right? Nah, bruv. I disrespect Chris Congo by your in arguments. That Mexican man should have bust his head out there. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Chris backed it. That's a, that's, that's true but South no, London. He, but he backed it. He backed it. That's true South London What did he back? What did he oh, back? Anyway, uh, no, well, I have to stay on this one. I have to stay on this one. What did he back? What did Chris Congo really back? It, it, it's a little madness, isn't it? It weren't, it weren't you know, a little handbag. Back, 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 back. 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 Tell Chris Congo to shut up. Matter of fact, I'm gonna ring. I'm gonna ring that little. Chris didn't say anything. Chris didn't say anything. This is me. Chris didn't say anything. This is me. Chris ain't looking for points. What did he back? What did he back? He didn't like he back, that, he? He back the little arm glass. But no, back to the point. The reason why the reason why the amateur thing, um, why it's gone downhill. Um, one, because I think a lot of the old school the, the old school trainers are now they passing away now. So a lot of the new school ones, because there's a thing where a lot of these you don't get paid for being an amateur coach in it really when you're yeah, doing yeah, for real. Normally now what I know is a lot of people can't afford to do that for free. So now you get ex like people people who's boxed their dads will be a couple of keep fitters or trainers. Also, um, there's a lot of um, a lot of people think that they can fast track their way through the amateurs. Just do a Haringey box cup and a little novices and just turn pro because yeah. they can sell a few tickets. Because back in Spencer knows back in his day and back in my day to get for a Southeast divs that's well, a two day yeah. that's a two to three day stint. You've got a box twice for briefly. on the same day. Twice on the same day. Yeah, no, yeah, box twice on the same day, and you've got a box on some other club shows after because it, you can't box more than two on the same night. Yeah. But say you've got like, uh, 10 entrants, it carries over. You can't even finish the, the Southeast Divs on that show in, in certain weights, like welterweight, like what, 64 kilos, 69 kilos, 71 kilos, uh, 60 kilos. Them, fight, them, them uh, uh, Divs carries on, you'll end up having to box on the Southwest, like an Earlsfield club show to finish off your Southeast Bro, Dips. Bro, that's I'll tell you, that's how it was them days. It's yeah, with and the only people who would be having to do that is London and then man up Liverpool. That's why it would normally be a Liverpool-London final because then man up Liverpool, when you're fighting them, you know it's madness come yeah, final time. Of course. All right, sorry, one second. Yeah, we got, we got this little troll man, um, Nathan Williams, yeah, saying that you'll knock out the man on this kind of thing. Brother, the only thing you could knock out is, 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 your, is your penis when you're having a wank. 
I don't like them when these people try to jump okay. I don't even know why you even give it No, I like to entertain these people. No, see, yeah. this is what I like. I like to entertain people them. Really, so, he said he does Muay Thai for getting, man. He's got like Muay Thai. I yeah, mean, Muay Thai. Man, I don't bust your head, you idiot. He's a civilian. Yeah, see, yeah, I... Uh, you have to... You have to... You have to... You have to... Just send the request to Tundi to jump on this as well. So we just start <laughs> lining up this thing. I am boxing TV. See, he knows. He knows. You have to box. You say you do. You do. You box twice at yeah. Crystal Palace Sports Centre, and then you have to box on something like a, a Earlsfield or Ballard Club Show to finish off your yeah. gifts. That's how yeah. bad it is. Yeah. And yeah. But yeah. now, and remember the press club. Remember the press club. Do you ever box there? You could get walkovers now. Yeah. Yeah. It's no, a different time. And not only that, not only that, but a lot of the a lot of the trainers back then they were all working men, you know. So they mm. work their shift. And then they'll come, a lot of them have their own businesses or worse, small business, but they have their own businesses. They'll go train, man. And then after that, after that, they come in and then they'll train, they'll train the youths. So it was different, you know what I mean? And it was a different kind of pride thing that they had. Yeah, there. different. It was a serious kind them. of thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was a pride thing. Like, oh, I, I got, I had eight boys and they went through, the, 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 it was a pride thing. But now, their man are still sitting down and they're seeing like, man who's never boxed before, Go in a professional gym, bred a man on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram and become their friend. And then, oh, yeah, I'll come down to the gym. I can show you some things. I can show you some things, right? And then I've after heard that, that a lot now, of times. Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. After that, <laughs> they come and they give him man water. One day they come in there, they massage him man's shoulders. Then they give him man water in the corner. And then they're holding pads. Yeah. And then they're a trainer. Yeah, and wrapping hands. Yeah, and wrapping hands. I see bare little thieves. Also, a little thieving man was down at Brixton Gym, Brixton McGill's gym, and now the man's opened up his own gym. Just go down there, two minutes, yeah, 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 I love the game. And yeah. now look, man think yeah. anyone can open a YouTube channel and talk to, 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 and have an opinion, and have an opinion, and they will attract the same people who have an opinion as well, but their opinion is not validated to nothing. Oh, but they will get their banner, and then all of a sudden, yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm going to, Apply for my license. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? And no. the border control, check this one out, the border control now, this is a money-making thing, you know. Anyone could go get a license. Yeah. So the border control now will say, all right then, Zoom. All right then, you're, you're going to pass our Angela on pilot, yeah? Why not, innit? Just give yeah. it. Yeah, then boom. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Tundi, I've got issue. I'm going to be real with it. I've got issue. <laughs> you know why? Because enough man's coming and this thing ain't made, ain't earned their stripes. They ain't earned mm. their stripes, bro. You know what I mean? And the audaciousness of it, when I'm hearing man trying to break down fights to me. Like, man, yeah, but me, I'm, I'm saying, do you know who you're talking to, bro? I should slap you in your mouth. So I'll tell her that. They don't, they don't even dream of trying to come to me and try and talk to me about anything. But it's just the impertinence of certain, certain people. You know what I mean? Now, look at this guy. This, look, let's block this little troll, man. This little oh, 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 boy. Let me block, let me block, just block him. Just block the little idiot. You know what I mean? I'm Cause, cause I don't mind man trying to cuss me, but don't try to come at yeah, me. Yeah. Back you I can't even see the he's comments. He's blocked. He's blocked. He's blocked. Anyone else want to go to the block party? Yeah, Anyone exactly. else want to? Yeah, cause, yeah. Because any foolishness, you're getting blocked. So I'm not in a long time. Yeah, we got the block party. We got yeah, potato yeah, yeah. chips, there, we've got hot dogs, there, we've got burgers. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In the in this platform for for certified. You know, fighters, ex fighters, and aficionados on this boxing thing. Let's keep it respectful. One hundred percent. Big up, big up, Ali Dawson. Real guy. Real guys. Yeah. But yeah, it's just like even um, what Tunde said about a lot of man coming into this game when they, they their first little intro to boxing was learning about Floyd Mayweather against Ricky Hatton. They didn't know about him. Yeah, no, of course. Know about him when he's when he's fighting Angel Manfredi and then man there. They didn't. Oh. They weren't watching boxing at times. Ooh, Ricky Hatton. No, I'm saying people who want to talk boxing now, you know them barbershop jargon like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they want to talk boxing, but their intro into Floyd Mayweather was when they saw him fight Ricky Hatton. They didn't watch him exactly. back in the day. They didn't exactly. Him fight. They didn't stay up on yeah, exactly. When he began this, which was an incredible win. They don't know they, about those kind of things. They don't know about Henry Wharton and, and, and things like that. They don't know about them, man. Gotcha. But at the end of the day, if I'm going to be effed up, it's going to affect the pros as well, then. No, it ain't. Trudy and Trudy. You're not going to get good it, pros, it, then. You know what? It, it, I'll tell you why it isn't. The amateur system within itself, definitely, 100%. Yeah. Right? But to certain individuals, you know what I mean? When you have beacons of knowledge, 
if you're in, you know what I mean, if you're asking a question and you got to think, you, when you're asking a question, you're actually on a quest because you're searching for something. That's where the word question comes from, right? So you're looking for something. So if you're looking to be the best, you will go out there. Just like when my little bubble, Nigerian Bridgen, took himself out and went to went to the Mayweather's camp, right? Because I said, oh, yeah, you're doing. No, this week did. This week did. He went out there. You know what I mean? When he traveled, he had he had his obelende soya and uh, and his pepper soup and his fufu wrapped up in foil. And he traveled out to he traveled out to Vegas, right? Nobody wasn't going out to Vegas them times there. Mm. No fighters weren't going out to Vegas them times there. He went to Vegas and he locked down the gym out there, right? And then he brought O'Hara out there. He brought Ante Yard out there. He brought Otto Saab out there. He brought all them youths that was out there doing their thing. Actually, the only person who I knew went to Vegas before was uh, Dwayne Lewis. Yep, Dwayne Lewis. I don't, I can't remember what happened to that old criminal, but I hope he's all right. Yes. You know what I mean? But yeah, <laughs> now for real. <laughs> right, Dwayne Lewis. But what I'm saying is, nobody went going out there like that. Like, well, we're bringing a camp of man out there. Yeah. So much that Bill Haney, when Bill Haney came to London, Bill Haney come to London searching for Tundi, and it was and had Tundi training Devin Haney, and he wanted Tundi to go out to to Vegas to continue training his son. Right. So when I'm seeing these little piss and toe, these guys who can't get piss straight, jump in this game now, and and try. Be a con artist in boxing and try to come. Well, I see, mm, but I see Ben Davison saying. I see, I see Ben Davison saying he trains um, Devin Haney now. He doesn't. Yeah, brother. I see now as well. Brother, brother, ben brother, 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 do you want me to send you the message that my man sent, sent to me the other day? Yeah, yeah, yeah please. I'll send it to you. What, what, actually, that, show me, show me tomorrow. Show, show me and Dan tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you that tomorrow. <laughs> so don't. When I'm saying, when I'm showing man this kind of thing, I'm saying, bro. I'm just sick and tired of a con artist in this thing or of a sport that I emphatically love because these con artists, it's getting ridiculous now. And the thing about it is this, is like people get suckered into these con artists. Do you understand? And, and, a, lot, and, a, and, a, and a lot of it is, is based on familiarity. You know what I mean? That's how it is. It's based on familiarity and it's, it's based on, on um, what, what would I say? Um, yeah, optical resemblance, not spiritual resemblance. Do you care to elaborate, Unks? What do I care to el elaborate? Mm -hmm. It is. It's based oh. because what we do as human beings, we base things on our similarities if it's in our favor. Okay, I get that. Right. Yeah. So when we when we look on things like to our favor, we're gonna say yeah, or let a man because people have this thing that boxes are dumb. Right, because you speak with very deep octones in your voice, man could relate that and say, "Rah, that is he's an idiot." Right? No, check this one out. No, no, no I'm telling them being real. Right? Mm -hmm. Let me show you how smart these men. I see you fight a hard ten round fight the other day. Let me show you how 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 smart or or how unsmart someone is. Let me throw a punch at you at forty two miles an hour. That's the average punch. And let's mm -hmm. see how you let's see how you how you dodge that. How you react in general. So obviously you must have some smarts in your head. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm. Obviously you obviously you must have smarts because it was like um early today my daughter was talking about art. You know what I mean? And what it is to be an artist. So when you're in that ring, you are the artist. And you know what? And God has given you another canvas to do your artistry on, but it's the ring canvas and you gotta put out you gotta bust your art on that. You know, 100. Definitely. That's what even brought me into the sport when I used to watch highlights of, like, back in, like, David Hay and, and the way he used to knock out people. I used to think, bro, this is, like, artistry, you know. This ain't even about just going out. Right, right, the way he used right. to slip exactly. out and bang. I used to think, bro, this isn't just crash, bang, wallop, you know. This, exactly. I down, literally, exactly. that's what I was thinking in my mind. Right? And also, you listen to David Hay talk. He articulates himself very, very well, you know. No, of course. Yeah, Reason yeah. why, because now... He already used to articulate the brutish, the brutishness of his punching power when he used to fight, and now he's turning that and he's trying to articulate the same kind of brutishness to have a definitive in when he's when he's picking and choosing when he's when he's speaking about fights, yeah, yeah. right? So when people turn around and think that fighters are not smart guys and fighters, that's rubbish. I never won nothing, but I guarantee you, no one can't test me historically. I don't care who you are. Because I know I've been I've been in the room with Max Kellerman and Max Kellerman has to shut his mouth when I'm around. 
be. Right? <laughs> I'm, at, like, I'm just keeping this thing 100. I've been yeah. in the room. I'm saying, bro, it's not like that. I'm not saying that I know the most, but no, <laughs> man ain't got my style no one. They can't dress like me. They don't look like me. You know what I mean? I'm 47 years old. I still look young. You understand? They, they, God, they're, they're, not right. they're, not, they're not in my league, bro. They're not in my league. Yeah. Now, but you got your you got your blue tick in boxing when I, I see the video of Roger said from when Roger said you know about boxing then like, you already know. But I'm not done talk. When Roger when Roger Mayweather said you know shit about like, this guy knows he shit straight. Yeah. You know why? Because you go in the Mayweather gym and you know they got they got all them pictures of the old time fighters, yeah. yeah. But Roger May was like, oh yeah. So I'm thinking with it goes. So he does it with everyone. He runs a little trick on everyone. He, like he goes, oh who's this? Who's that? When I'm breaking it down, I'm thinking who that is on the wall. What year he's fighting, how many title defenses he had. When I brought down Rogers Correa, he said, Nah, this motherfucker knows boxing. I said, Right. I don't want to hear no talk from no one. You get know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But, yeah. And the thing about it is this unfortunately, the guys who are in the game right now, they have no respect for the history. None. Yeah, no, 100%. Right? That's true. And, this is, and this is the next thing. Like, you see when Yard, when Yard returns to fight again? Watch, watch. When Yard comes back to return to fight again, watch. Reason why? Because I know that Tundi's on this thing now. Hard. Mm. You know what I mean? So what does that mean though? Uh, what does that mean? Or like what, what like what what predictions are you giving? Because you gotta remember this is someone in my weight division. You're just flexing talking about yeah, when he bro, comes back, he comes bro, like, what, listen, you, what are you saying? Listen, Daniel, listen, uh 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 Daniel, Daniel as is Frank Bruno the second, yeah? Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> do we do we do we um do we uh black pudding? No. You sure? Come on man. That's pork's blood. Unks, come on, you're taking a piece. Now that, yeah. that, that, that was fasting. I see his story, it was fasting. Yeah, come on. That weren't fasting, nothing. Look at, like, <laughs> look at this was, hey, was, hey, man, was, was fast. Any man, any man who said there was fasting, fasting any, that knows the thing. thing, come on. Let me tell you this. Any man who said there was fasting and posted to say they're fasting, they're not fasting. I didn't post. I didn't. He didn't say I posted to say I was fasting. What, what did you? Did I? Did I say I was fasting or did you? No, you didn't say. That? I could see. I could tell. I could tell. I could tell. Go. See. By the, the night, by, by the time the time when you're posting at the time of night when you're you're eating, I could tell. He's, he's got to be. Well, well. Let me tell you this year. How was your <laughs> fast, Dan? How was your fast? Yeah, it, was, it, was, it was all right. It was, did it was you good, fast? Then? Did you it fast? It was good because day? I was trying to lose weight anyway because it was coming up. So it right. came in handy, didn't it? Yeah, no, hundred percent, definitely. All right, so I've got a thing that will, I could, I've got a thing that I could give to you that will make you cut weight, bro. And it's yeah. natural. Now, when I mean like cut weight, you'll cut weight. You'll, you, you, you'll think you must really think right. Do you think? Do you think I could get to? You can make me get to super middle. I'm telling you, I could get you down to super middle weight. But right. well, there's not no Oscar Freeman's version, though, is it? Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I've got a team that make you cut weight, bro. Seriously, I right, say no more. When I see you tomorrow, yeah, chat, yeah. I've got, bro. So, if I put you on this program, yeah. yeah, I guarantee you. Give me one month. I guarantee you. If you're not, if you're not, if you're not at uh, at uh, super middleweight, something's wrong. I right, say no more. You think we'll, I'm joking? We'll, then? No, we'll, we'll discuss tomorrow anyway. When I see you, uh, yeah, you think? Uh, <laughs> we'll discuss. Oh, you think I'm joking? I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> but now, nah, right, man. Like, it's because Frank Bruno used to say, what's your favourite food? And you say, Yorkshire pudding. You used to love the Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, no, nah, that's not my thing. Sorry. You, are you sure? I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, come on, man. I don't know about you, Dan. I don't know. No, no, no. Yo, Etam. No, 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 nah, that's not my thing. No, I'm, I'm just, like I said, I'm just keeping this thing 100. I know, yeah. somebody's not even talking no more. You know, I told you it's going quiet now. Like, I yeah. know, from the pesterizations that I have got from that little shiny face Nigerian, <laughs> white tooth Nigerian, yeah? I know that it's, it's, it's going to be trouble. What are you saying? It's on. It's on because, like, you can train and you can be set in your ways and then you say, well, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep on building to the program. But he's building to the program knowing that, what did Floyd Mayer say? Floyd Mayer said, I studied the masters until I became a master. <laughs> So, yeah. so when I mean like he studies on point, he studies on point. So yeah, I'm looking, we're, look, we're looking forward to it anyway, man. We're looking forward to it. So yeah, H Money Boxing. We saying salam alaikum, bro. Yeah, you're on. Was it Fight Fan TV? 
give them a follow. Right, Dean White has jumped on the thing. Dean, 